Hello, my name is Sean Hayford, Outreach Director of the YMCA of Rapid City and a fellow Heritage Club member. I'd like to thank you guys so much for thinking into the future. In my 16 years here at the Y, one of the things I'm most excited about is the Heritage Club so that the, the things I work on today I know will carry on into the future and I thank you for having that foresight too. The YMCA annual sponsorship campaign, it's not just a good thing to do. It really captures the heart and soul of who we are, making sure that everybody, regardless of their background, has the opportunity to be a part of the YMCA. That's what makes your role so important. Your role as volunteer, your role as a donor to this uh, campaign, translated what you do in terms of your service, what you do in terms of every direct dollar goes to a real face, a real person, a real person uh, who is part of a great youth development program, whether it's in swimming lessons, whether it's at the first tee at the golf course, after school at one of the outreach sites at Jump Start. There's so much more. And it's because of what you're doing that you're making a huge difference for our community. My name is Karen Little Thunder, and my grandson Taylor is the oldest of four boys in the family. And last year, during the school year, after school, he would go to the, the North Teen Center. And he spent a lot of time there, and it was helpful. It was helpful to him. It gave him a place, a safe place to be. He just needed more exposure to what the Y has to offer. So when he heard about the Youth Institute, he was excited, and I... I was kind of scared, but I said, yes, if you want to do this, we'll do this. And um, we just had no income at the time. And it was um, scary. I mean, it was, I couldn't imagine how we would even get him here every morning at nine and pick him up every day. But we did. That first week's, that camping trip, oh, he was, uh, <laughs> he was scared. He almost backed out. but. At the same time, he was excited. When he got back, he was so happy. He, he'd made new friends. He had these new experiences, and he had camped out, and he finished the week, and he was just really proud of himself. To see him at the um, dinner that took place after the graduation, interacting with his friends, and the mentors, it was, again, I was near tears, <laughs> but um, he, he finished it, and it was just really, gave us hope, is what it did. And school, it made a huge difference. Um, he, last year was, C's, D's, F's. He was not doing well with the, the new confidence that he gained from the Youth Institute. His grades are now A's and B's, just one C. And when I saw that first grade report, I was, I was really happy because he was struggling. All of a sudden, because of his experiences with the Youth Institute, he kind of like he blossomed. He found confidence, he found courage, he found, he was more hopeful, you know, I can do this, we're going to do this. My name is Zach Semple, started out down at the Y between ages nine and 10, after school, summer programs. Spent probably two years down there before Sean Hayford started the unicycle group, which somehow was something weird that I uh, jumped right into and fell in love with instantly. Day one, traveled all over for unicycling. We've I don't know, done so many things, so many places, so many new faces, and Sean's always been the one right there for to be able to count on. Uh, unicycling was huge for me. It was, I mean, probably as growing up, one of the most fun thing overall I've done. 
between just at the Y, everything we've done with it, the places we've gone, but the Y has always been there. I went through a really bumpy patch. Somehow I found that drugs might have been an answer. March 7th, I will be at four years of sobriety. There was just no, there was no judgment at all. I really wasn't. I mean, even when I got in trouble, I came here and I was like, the last person I'd want to say anything that I did like that was Sean. I grew up in the Y, so I've seen people come and go and the people who stay. And, and there's reason people stay either going to or working at the Y. Because, it, I mean, it all around is a great family. I am Denise Ottenbacher. I am the lead teacher of the YMCA Jumpstart program. And this is a very special program. We work outside of the Rapid City High School and uh, we can service any mom or dad in the school district here in Rapid City, um, even GED parents, as long as they're under 21 and under. Uh, we, what we do is we take care of their babies or, and children up to probably three, but we can't go to four. But we take care of them as the moms or dads are going through their, get their high school or high school equivalen equivalency. And, uh, but we do more than just that. The parents become our kids too, including my staff. We become very attached to most of our parents. We assist them in various things. We assist them if they need to get a, uh, a ride here. We help them find jobs. We help them if they are, are out of diapers or they don't have any food for themselves or the babies. We find the, uh, places where they can get that stuff. They become our our extended family. There are like our our girls. I mean, we call them our girls. All three of us do, and, because, and we worry about them. They have no idea that when it's a long weekend, and we know this particular mom has a bad home life. For us, it is hard. Those long weekends are hard because we never know what's going to happen the next week when they come in. Something also is very important to keep in mind about our, our parents is quite a few of them are working a full-time job over here at the school going full-time. And so they are just trying to live life. They have to, they have to sometimes support themselves and their entire family. And we are their main consistency. They come here, their child knows that this is where they're going to be every day, Monday through Friday. Some of their kids say, I want to go to school, I want to go to school. And that spurs mom to be here too. It is so important. And knowing that they have this and they can come here and they can just, sometimes they just come in here and they're on their break and they're, oh, and they just have their downtime with their baby and with us. And it's important. This is an important place for them. And when they graduate, it's like, yes, they graduate and, and we get to get up there and in the stands and we can just make all kinds of, kinds of noises, stand up and embarrass them and hoot. But, you know, we're, we feel like we, we're we graduating too. It's important to us. My name is Brittany Cruzy. Um, I had dropped out of school when I turned 18 right away. And then I got pregnant, so I decided to go back. And really the only way that I did this was because I got pregnant and I had my daughter and I felt like I had to give her a good future and I had to, I had to go back. I couldn't be a welfare mom. I didn't want to be a welfare mom. I enrolled her in the Jump Start program and they were so helpful, so helpful. I probably would not have graduated without them. And when I graduated, Maggie and Denise came and I got a picture with them and Kylie and they would talk about colleges and stuff. And they, uh, Sue Colgan, she's very involved in this and she is one amazing lady. And she is another big reason why I'm going to college right now. I'm a sophomore uh, for Black Hill State University at the University Center. I'm almost done with my associates and I get to apply for the nursing program next fall. So, I'm excited. These are just a few of the lives that have been changed through the many programs at the Y that are possible through the annual campaign. We thank you so much.